Number nine, identify and label the Bronsted-Lowry acid, its conjugate base, and then we have to identify the Bronsted-Lowry base and its conjugate acid in each of the following equations. And then we have our equation here. So for CN minus plus H2O yield HCN plus OH minus, we need to find these four things, the Bronsted-Lowry acid base, and then the conjugate acid and the conjugate base. Now the first thing that's the easiest thing to do in situations like this is to find the pairs. One species on the left side hooks up with one species on the right. So just find the ones that look very similar. This is kind of like the same thing when we had to do half reactions when we balanced uh, equations in acidic and basic solution. So find those pairs. C and minus looks very similar to which one on the product side? Yeah, HCN. They both have a CN. And then by choosing these two as a pair, the other ones should make sense. And yeah, they look similar. H2O versus OH minus. All right, so I picked the pairs correctly. The second thing that you should do is write the word conjugate on the product side. Your conjugates, conjugate base and conjugate acid, those are always going to be on the product side because that's what's being formed. So this has to be a conjugate and this has to be a conjugate. Conjugate. Vice versa, the Bronsted-Lowry acid and the Bronsted-Lowry base, those are the two things that are uh, reacting with each other. So for right now, I know that this has to be a Bronsted-Lowry something and a Bronsted-Lowry something, but I don't know if this is the acid or the base yet. That's the next part. Now what we're going to do is we're going to analyze one of the pairs, whichever one you think is easiest. Let's go with CN minus and HCN. We have to figure out which one is the acid and which one is the base. Keep in mind down here that acids will always have one more hydrogen. So acids will have one more hydrogen than its bases, than its conjugate bases. And on the flip side, bases will have one less uh, H plus, I think I said acid, one more acid. I meant one more H. Acids have one more H and bases will have one less H. It's basically saying the same thing, but just in a reverse order. So between CN minus and HCN, who has the hydrogen? This one, this one has one more hydrogen than CN minus. And acids always have one more. So if that's the case, this has to be the acid. So this has to be the conjugate acid. And if that's the acid of the pair, this has to be the base of the pair. So this is the Bronsted-Lowry base. Now, just do the same for the other side. Look at those hydrogens. This has two hydrogens, and this one only has one. The one that has the more hydrogens is the acid. So this has got to be, H2O has got to be the Bronsted-Lowry acid, and then the OH- minus has to be the base, the conjugate base. And if you've noticed, we have only one base and one acid on one side, and one base and one acid on the other side. If you turn out to have, you know, accidentally an acid plus an acid, go back. And vice versa with base plus base. You could always only have one acid and base on one side of the equation. And now I'll just draw the pairs. So the greens go together and the blues go together. And there you go. Hopefully that helped. Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I will be talking to you, to you. I'll talk to you all in later lessons. I hope you have a great day. Let's keep studying hard, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.